Hello, this is Kush Sharma from smoothblogging.com. Welcome back to the How to Start a Blog video series. This is the part where we start creating the Facebook page for our blog. Now, you know, creating Facebook and Twitter pages and maybe Pinterest pages and other social media pages is pretty important nowadays for your blog because of two factors. First, it helps you increase the reach of your blog because many people hang out on these social media platforms you know like facebook and twitter and it's always good to have your presence here because you can get additional traffic from these sites in fact you can get a whole lot of traffic from these sites another reason to do this is because it's doing so is google friendly okay so or or search engine friendly you know when search engines are ranking your websites they always prefer web uh, or they always prefer websites you know which have these social media pages along with the website okay so you must have seen no matter you know which no matter if, whenever you see a great blog you know or your one of your favorite blogs you know in all probability they will definitely have at least a facebook page you know so it, it is it is very important nowadays to have this social media presence so what we're going to do is first of all we're going to create a facebook page for the blog that we've just created okay so what you do is you just go to facebook.com just like here and you can see this um you know form here create your account uh, so you just enter your details enter your name and in the email address and enter the email address of your blog the one which we created so it will be contact at your blog.com okay just re-enter this and to give it a password give it any birthday day that's fine and give it a gender and just click on create my account okay so you will see this screen you can just skip this step okay keep skipping skip and just skip again okay now you can see that uh, it has sent me a verification mail okay and I need to verify this email in order to complete the sign up process now if you remember this email will go to contact at bodyweightzone.com but if you remember when we were setting up hosting that we have forwarded this email to the email that we use on a regular basis okay so I had forwarded forward this forwarded this to my email address on Gmail, the one which I use frequently. So this is where this email will land up. So I won't obviously show you, you know, ver how to verify this. You just have to go to your mail. It'll come there, and you just click on a link, and it will verify. So once I verified, I'll see you back here okay so you can see now i verified it i went to my email i clicked on the link for verification and now i'm ready to use facebook okay so what we have to do is that we are going to create a page for our blog so you just scroll down here on this page and at the bottom you can see these options so you just click on the third one it's called create page okay so let's just click on this okay so you will see the screen pop up and it's asking you what kind of page do you want to create okay so when it asks you this since you know we are doing this for a blog so you click on brand or product okay and when it comes to choosing a category just go down and select website okay for the brand and product name you just enter the name of your blog okay just click on I agree to the Facebook pages terms and just click on get started okay now it's going to ask you to write the about section of your page so you remember that we created an about section on the website so if you have already filled in that you can just copy paste it here okay now this is just a sample page so I'm just going to just type ABCD that's fine okay so this is where you have to add your website so this is where you add your blog so I'm just going to type in bodyweightzone.com okay is bodyweight zone a real business product or brand yes okay will bodyweight zone be authorized and official of this business product on Facebook you can click on yes and 
just click on save info this is even if you click no it's fine to be honest uh, it won't be of any concern right now at least okay uh, we we are going to add a profile picture but it's just not now so just click on skip and we don't want to advertise right now so just click on skip okay so this is our page okay so now we'll just start setting up this page okay so we'll start with adding some images to our page so the first image that we'll add will be a cover image a cover photo just like you have for your Facebook personal profile you just go to this button here add a cover click on upload photo now I've already designed a cover image for this page so I'll just upload that let's see how it looks okay so you can see this is the cover image that I've designed so I've given the link to the blog uh, it's not actually a link it's just text and I've given a little tagline everything you need to know about body weight workouts and some images here okay so this looks pretty good and what we do is we just click on save changes okay so we, and now I'll add a profile picture to this okay So I've got two profile pictures. I designed two profile pictures for this, uh, for the blog. So I'll just see which one looks better. So let's just start with the first one and see how it looks. Okay, and let's just try the second one, which is this. Hmm. Uh, I think this one is slightly different from the the background the cover image here so I think I'll go with this one okay so now uh, I had designed these images and you know they're of the perfect dimensions of what a cover image and what a profile image should be of uh, when it comes to creating images for your Facebook page and uploading them because this can be pretty frustrating you know if you don't have the exact dimensions because it can just go out of bounds and your picture will not be in focus okay and same goes with the profile pic here it can be a pretty frustrating experience to get your photograph or uh, your profile picture exactly of the size that you want it to be you know so that nothing goes out of the frame so as i've already told you before in part eight you know i have designed a course for you it's called the smooth design workshop and you can see the link to it is given below uh, in the disc uh, just below the video in the description now as i've already mentioned it's a course where i teach you how to design these kind of images okay so how do you get this effect you know how do you get all these effects you can you can see various effects right here you know and I, I teach you how to create these images how to resize them to the perfect size right from scratch okay so it's a step-by-step -step course okay where I teach you how to create you know these images even if you don't know anything about designing so we start absolutely from scratch and it's really important you know not, uh, not only for the images that we use on the blog but when it comes to social media images are really important you know images like cover pages profile uh, cover images profile images then soon we'll be adding uh, the post images then similarly on Twitter and other social media platforms so it's a very important skill you know it's a very important skill if you know how to design these images and it's very easy so when you know how to design this, these images it makes your life very easy and in fact makes your blog and your social media pages look really good okay you can always pay someone to do that but you really don't have to because it's very easy to learn this so you can check out the course it's called the smooth design workshop it's a step-by-step -step course where I teach you how to design these images from scratch so you can just check out the uh, the link is given in the description of this video you can check out further details about that course when you click on that link so okay so let's just continue okay so once you've uploaded images which are relevant to your blog 
you can uh, move on to the next step okay and even if they don't fit right now and you know you're not happy with how they look that's just fine right now let's just learn and of course if you want you can just check out my course where you can learn how to create those images images as i've already told you so, but let's move on to the next step where what we're going to do is that we will be sharing the posts that we made on our blog on this facebook page okay so if you remember when you go back to the blog you remember that we have created a post okay this was the post we created top 10 body weight exercises and i had asked you to create another post in the previous video in the previous video so this was my second post and this is the topic that i chose the best body weight workout routines of course there's no text in it i just written blah blah because this is just a sample post and i added this nice image so these are two of my articles on my blog okay and i want to share these articles on the facebook page okay so how do we do that it's just like updating your status so suppose first of all i want to update this article okay i want to share this article so what i do is that i just copy the text here and i go back to my page and on status i just write something like check out the latest from our blog and you can just give just copy paste the title so check out the latest from our blog top 10 body weight exercises and what you do is that you have to give the link so when you click on this post and you can see this link has come up here I'm just gonna copy this link and I'll just paste it here okay so you can see that this link has opened up and you can read a bit of the article too okay right now obviously it doesn't make sense because that's what I wrote but you can see that this link is popped up but what we want to do is we'll not be using this link okay we'll be just click on remove here instead of the link that came up we'll add a photo so you just click on photo here click on upload photos and I've already created a image with which fits perfectly you know in this area and that of course is taught to you again in the course smooth design workshop and I just click on open here and I just click on post okay so you can see now this image looks much better than the link which was being displayed right it looks more it looks it just looks better it looks complete you know rather than the link which comes up it just doesn't give a very good appearance okay so you can see this is check out the latest from our blog the top 10 body weight exercises people can click on this link and go back to your blog and read the post okay and this image just makes it more attractive so this is how you share posts okay and now let's just share the next one too so I'll just go back and I'll copy paste this right now I just use the same caption but it's always better that you keep varying your whatever you write here so that to your visitors you know they always like variety it can get too monotonous if you're writing the same thing again and again but just for the sake of an example I've just copied pasted there this the same thing here and again what I do is I just go to this post copy the link and I just paste it here okay now again you can see the link has come up but we don't want this we want the photo and I already have the photo ready with me so I'm just going to upload it here and once it's done I will just click on post so you can see suddenly our Facebook page starts to look good right so this is how you share posts and you don't just have to share posts you can share quotes you can share so many other things on your Facebook page so and once people start coming and liking it you know 
your audience increases and you can get traffic from Facebook to your website because that is the ultimate aim to get traffic to your website to your blog okay so this is how creating a Facebook page works and it's a must and again if you at the cost of repetition I'll just mention my course again it's called smooth design workshop I teach you from scratch how to create images like these these and these and how to put all these effects how to you know make these images look good and I teach you all in smooth design workshop and not just this I teach you how to create logos I teach you how to create other images for your blog like sidebar images and everything is taught step by step and right from scratch okay well, my battery is running low so I'll see you in the next video where we create a Twitter page okay bye for now